We've just gone through a major financial crisis, which in fact a lot of people have referred to in terms of a bubble. A bubble has burst. Bubbles are not new. We've in fact gone through at least 10 different bubbles over the last 200, 300 years. There was the tulip bubble 300 years ago. There was the railway bubble 200 years ago. There was the electricity bubble. There was the dot-com bubble. And recently we've just had a bubble around what people talk about in terms of financial innovations. But in fact, these different bubbles differ greatly in terms of the impact they had on the economy. Once these bubbles burst, some of them, like rail, ended up with something good. When the railway bubble burst, we still had hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of rail. When the dot-com bubble burst, we still had the internet, which in fact fostered growth post-bubble. What do we have now after the current bubble has burst? Lots of hedge funds, swaps, uh, CDOs. The degree to which these will actually still foster growth after this bubble has burst is a huge question that we must answer.